Hi, this is Teng Lin. I'm an extension professor of University of Missouri Agriculture Engineering. Um, I would like to share with you the experience of removing and land applications of lagoon solids. Um, the co-authors of this um, poster include Mr. Tim Cantor and also Dr. Joe Zolovich. Um, the problem is when we had excessive um, solids build out or sludge was found in the dairy lagoon. Um, there was significant order and low quantity and quality of flushing water um, that's for the operations of the lagoons. So the objectives of this um, poster is to document the experience that we had for preparing for and also completed the uh, lagoon uh, land applications uh, that had uh, heavy solids in the flushing dairy lagoon located in central Missouri. Um, this lagoon is not that big because it belonged to um, a um, um, dairy barn that was housing about 150 lactating cows. Uh, the freestyle barn itself was using mattress bedding with supplemental cedar shavings. Um, so we started with preparing uh, with some sludge judging uh, to know the sludge depth and lab analysis of those characteristics. Um, the contractor was finally um, hired to utilize their specialty equipment to dilute, agitate, and pump. Um, so the whole job was ending up um, pumping and then applying for about 8 million gallons of diluted lagoon solids in about nine days. Um, so here we have uh, a picture showing the PTO-driven lagoon agitators. Uh, the team was using two of the PTO agitators and also an agitation boat uh, for agitating the lagoons. Um, and the lower photos are showing the uh, dilution pump was pumping um, some water, fresh water from a nearby lake into the lagoon for the dilutions. Um, that was because um, the slowly the slurry samples that we took um, from the sludge judging indicated that the, the lagoon had about at least 10 to 13% of solid contents. Um, so the, the uh, custom applicators uh, wanting to make sure that uh, they have the dilution water to try to uh, reduce the solid contents. Um, the effluent was um, applied on over 220 acres. Um, including some of the neighbor's fields that are as far as one and a half miles away. Um, so um, because of the, the cleaning job uh, and also the lack of the uh, solid separations after the lagoon pump out, uh, a pool plug sediment basin was installed at that farm. Um, here are some photos showing uh, the pool plug sediment basin uh, in operation at that farm. Um, to <clears throat> showcase some of the lagoon effluence, um, nutrients and moisture content. Here we have this figure showing that uh, this line is the moisture content. Uh, overall, when we see that the, the moisture content was increased over the time because of the dilutions, uh, the nutrients was uh, inversely proportional to the moisture content. So in conclusions, uh, the nutrients uh, were decreasing when the concent when the concent uh, in, in decreasing the concentrations when the moisture content increase. Uh, planning ahead will of course help with the overall um, pump out operations and avoid unnecessary expenses. Um, the farm finally um, selected uh, the pool plug sediment basin because it was relatively simple and, and easy to reduce the solids loadings. Uh, we do have. Um, an extension publications on the University of Missouri Extension site documenting some of the details of, a, uh, of the pool block sediment basin. Uh, and we are working on getting some of the details of this uh, lagoon pump up uh, experience into another extension publications. Uh, finally, some acknowledgement that the research was supported by a USDA NEFA program along with some of the collaborators from University of Nebraska Extension, University of Arkansas, Case Western Reserve University, and also Colorado School of Mines. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. You can reach me at limt at missouri.edu. Thank you.